Hi everyone. I'm going to, um, this morning I'm going to, is it still morning? 11.56. Yeah, it's still morning. I have this placemat. Um, I love using the placemats for a beginning of an art project. And, um, textile art, any kind of a fabric, fiber art. And this is a really pretty, um, a very pretty placemat. This is going to be the inside. Oh, I'm going to make another sleeping bag for a journal. Another journal sleeping bag. And so what I have is I've got this here. I went and bought a bo a, a, a roll. It, took, it was kind of hard for me to find, but I found it. It's 10 inch. 10 inch. Oh, no, it's 12 inches. This is 12 inches of, um, of, um, tool. Because I'm going to be using a lot of tool in my, in my art, my fiber crafting art. So that's why I bought that. Now this here part, this piece, this side of the placement is going to be on the inside of my, my sleeping bag, my journal sleeping bag. And then this much of it probably will be turned up and then another piece will be fastened onto here. And well, let me show you real quick. This is a, this is a journal sleeping bag. One of my journal sleeping bags I've made because um, like I've said before, I use in my journaling, I use, uh, I like to journal in a journal just a plain, ordinary journal that has got a lot of room for writing. And so I, um, I, I use these. I love these journals. Now this journal is, um, six inches by eight and a half, six inches by eight and a half inches. And it fits in here just nicely. And it's got room so that if I do get this thickened up, it's still going to fit in here. And on this side, in this pocket, I keep um, just little embellishments, stickers, and stuff that may go in to this journal. And so, and then I can just pull off a sticker. I can just pull off a sticker if I feel like it, you know, and I don't, here's a pretty kitty with it put that on there but see and I can decorate as I go I can decorate the pages and whatnot and then I have a pocket here that holds my pen okay now so that is a sleeping bag for a journal and this is started with um, a sleep uh, oh no this one didn't get started with a with a placement this just got started with a Piece that I was playing with but anyway but the sleeping bag works good because I mean the placement works good because when I fold it in half this way it's of a nice width and it's a little bit too long by about a couple inches and that's what's going to fold up inside so this is going to be the inside I want this side to be where this side is where the book is going to be and this side is where the embellishments are going to be Okay, so now I'm going to turn it over because then this is where I want to create art. And so this is where you will put, this is where you will put any kind of fabric art, any kind of fabric. And I have this, um, I have this here tub of just small pieces of fabrics that I call my crumbs. And there is so many different fabrics in here. And so what I do then is I, I'm going on this one here, I'm just going to start by putting some crumbs on in different areas. And I like color, so I'm going to find color. You see how the threads, I don't, not concerned 
about the threads because I'm going to be adding threads. And um, But I'm just kind of picking them up as I go. I'll leave that tag on there. That's fine. And, um, and I'm just kind of uh, um, putting them wherever and and because it's my art project and so and it's kind of a um, mixed media so it can be anything and um, I, I mostly look for color because I do love color and so I'm going to just put them as I find them as I pick them and I'm just kind of sorting them out into into places now when I always keep on my Etsy store just so you know um, offerings of my um, of my um, of my crumbs because I just have plenty and I just keep making more when I get a scrap piece of fabric, I just cut it up into smaller pieces and I throw it in my, in my, um, in my bin here. And let's see, there's a piece of lace. And I, um, and I, um, I, and, and I just put them into my little, my, uh, yeah, that's what I do. And I, and I, um, I just put them in here and then I've got them ready for when I want to do an art project. And I love using fabric. I love using fabric. I love using my sewing machine. Now the sew, you can use a sewing machine or you can use, or you can, if you really want to, you can hand stitch. I like this one, but it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to cut this one down a little bit. Make that just half that size and put that right there. I'm going to put another piece right over here. It's pretty. Oh, and then here's some scrap pieces that I used, I was using yesterday in my crafting. Some red, that's pretty. Let me just get them in there. Whoops, dropped a piece in the floor. There we go. Put that there. And here's a pretty lavender. Let's put that. Let's put that. I'm going to cut that in half too. And put that piece right there. And then this piece can be right here. Okay, and I'm leaving space in between. Oh, that's pretty. And so each little piece brings in more enjoyment, more, just more color, and I'm really wanting color. Okay, oh, I want to get a piece up here. Let's see here, this will work. And then a little piece up here. And... That one will work. That's fine. Let's put that one like this. It's different shape, see? So I think that's good right there. But now, I tell you, I save my strings like threads. And I have got quite a few threads here. So what I'm going to do now with my threads, now when I have my threads, and that's not all I have. I got a Ziploc bag full of threads too. Now I'm just going to kind of spread those threads out. And I'm going to put those threads right there on top. And I'm just going to kind of pull them apart. And there's so many colors in here. So many colors. And you know, when I think about these threads, I think about all the things that have been made where these threads have come off of the fabrics or come off of the snips, you know, thread snips that, um, while sewing different things. And there's no telling what all of these threads 
what kind of a story each one of them have. You see there's some embroidery floss threads in there. And so because I, when I'm sitting in my lazy chair and I'm just doing some hand stitching, why then I, I create those those threads and I just put them in, I just save them. I don't throw them away because they're just so beautiful, just so beautiful. And so, and then I just straighten them out the best I can, these threads. And, and all of you who know me know that I don't like patterns so much, although I do use some patterns, but not a lot. Most of my creations that I do are are brought upon by scraps of something and just put together however they see fit. And so, and like on these here threads, I'm putting them how they see th fit. And the color, I just love the color. The colors are just beautiful. And so there we go with them stretch this one out a little bit and um, and now here look at this bunch is it's like a bunch of pinks just threads so here so far we've got a placemat that came from the thrift shop um, we have we have scraps of fabric, just scraps of fabric, and you can get um, if you're not one that's got a lot of fabric around. I bet you have old clothes that you don't wear anymore, and if you do, you take them apart and you cut them into pieces, and and just start saving them up in a in a, a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag or a crate of some kind, just start saving them. And it's going to be amazing what beautiful fabrics you'll find. And even if you don't have fab, it, you know, some people are very good and when they buy their fall warb wardrobe, you know, it's fall time now, people are getting their fall warb wo wardrobes all fixed. And then they might just send all their old stuff where maybe they already sent all their old stuff away and um but see don't send it away just use it into your art projects and see now how that thread is just filling up because that was all brown it was all brown and now that thread oh see there and there I got a little piece of fabric that just happened to be in there too and and so but yeah you have got you've got fabric I can just about guarantee you you have fabric in your house and um, so um, okay let's get these and, and threads, I don't know if you'll have threads, but I have threads. I have saved threads. But see, if you're, if you're, when you, um, when you take fabrics apart, when you take clothing apart and stuff, if you tear it apart rather than cut it, then you end up with threads too. So it's like two for one sale, you know buy one get one free kind of thing and now look how this is looking um it, it, i think it's looking good i think it's looking good i left that tag there it's a little piece of satin fabric it's not tag it's a piece of satin fabric okay now it's just i think we're i think i'm happy with this now now, I could do more than this before this next layer, but um, I'm going to leave it as this for right now. And 
look just look mash that down a little bit and that's my my artistic and it is art don't let anybody tell you it's not art because that's art that is art for sure okay now well you know what I need some threads up here oh look at this has got some purples I need some right up here at this Oh, this, <laughs> look at that, I gotta pull that apart. That was a piece that was crocheted a little bit. Let me pull it apart, because then I got all that squiggly line there. It says crochet cotton right here. Okay, and sometimes if it's too, too wadded and knotted, let me see, you can take your scissor there's a piece of yarn in there and see you just leave it there where it fell that's where it belongs to be I swear okay this here piece is a little bit you know, cut that so that I can pull it apart easier and then I can get some of this down here and then we'll go with this piece and um, look at that how pretty that's going to be with that purple running through okay okay I like this now I think I'm happy with this All right, now, and look I've only used that much I still have so much more and um, so now this is where the tool comes in, so I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to open the tool. I got this from Amazon, because um, I use, when I use tool, white is what I like to use. And so, let's see, I've got that wrapped good. to here. Okay. And this is going to be, um, I had a piece that was sent to me by Barbara and she, and I've used it though, but a big piece, you know, and then you have to unfold it and cut it. But then I thought, gosh, if I could find a roll, you know, then I could, that would be much easier to apply. I had some narrower you know six inch and so i would put a piece here and a piece there but then when i was sewing it it just was a little bit cumbersome so so that's why i thought well um a solid piece would work better okay so now i'll just kind of cut that off and i got 100 yards here so this is going to last me a good long while probably the rest of my life because, see, I only used a little bit more than a foot right here on this one. Okay. So this is a little bit more than 10 inch, 12 inches. What is it? It's, yeah, it's 10 and 3 quarters of an inch this way. So what we're going to do here now is then I'm going to, um, I'm going to just pin kind of along the edge. This here little dog that I had, I've had that up. It was first sitting up on my windowsill over my kitchen sink, and I kept my scrubby pad in there. And then I thought, oh, it's so cute. Um, and then I had this little pin cushion that was sent to me. Cordula made that, and she sent that pin cushion to me. And, um, and I was using it, but I would pick it up, and then the bottoms of the pins would poke me. And... Well, I don't need to be poked. I, um, I'm not a pincushion. So then I thought, you know what? That pincushion will fit perfectly inside. And so I stuffed some fabric underneath first, and then I put the little pincushion. It fits in there perfect. And now my pincushion is right there ready for me. And so 
You can make a pin cushion also out of just near about anything that you have laying around. I mean, a coffee cup, anything. You can make a pin cushion. And coffee cup is nice because it's got a little handle on it to hold onto your cup, onto your pin cushion too. And um, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of pinning this around. And by pinning it around, it's holding everything together that I have in here. And so this is going to be the front and back of my journal cover or my journal sleeping bag. Because when the journal isn't being journaled in, it's going to be sleeping. And so I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'll start sewing. Oops, let's see. i got to move some stuff here. I always have to move stuff. Okay, I've got my sewing machine right here. And I'm going to see. That'll just stay right nice. Oops, that's getting kind of... Let me cut that off the edge. Now, see, if you, if when you're putting your threads and they go over the edge, that's okay because then once you're finished stitching it, then um, you can trim, trim off what you don't need. You know, use the edge of the placemat to be your guide as to where you're going to stitch. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my sewing machine onto a little bit of a zigzag. My legs out here. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little zigzag here. And um and I'm gonna go all the way around the edge first with the zigzag. Once I go around the edge with the zigzag um Two, three, four. Get a little wider. Uh, wider. Okay. So yeah. And then okay. Let's see. Let me stop that a minute because I want it a little wider. Okay. Let me see. It takes me a, a while to get everything adjusted on these um, machine, on this machine that's got Okay, now wait a minute. Don't I need it? Oh yeah, here. Oh, that's what I needed. More in the length of the stitch. Oh my goodness, I get my hair sticks to my nose. Okay. Boy, if I didn't have my my um, crafting, arts and crafts, while I was dealing with my nose issue, if I didn't have this, I'm telling you, it would have been miserable. But because I have, because I do have my love of crafting and, and art, and because I don't need to have it all, I don't need to have everything like perfect and not a lot of thought has to go in. I just put my heart vibes into my my art for a while I couldn't even call it art because I, I thought no that would be I'll leave the art to the regular artist but then when I decided I was a homegrown artist then I feel like I can call my I can call my my things art let me see if I can turn this camera up just a little bit here okay doesn't help a lot but some people can get the cameras right on their sewing machine so you can see what exactly is happening but I don't do that well 
So here, see some of my threads are out. I'll snip those off when I get the whole thing stitched. I will, um, I'll get those taken care of. So I think now what I want to do, just something just went into my mind. Um, and see, this is what you, this is what happens when you don't have plans. You might be just in the middle of a project and then you decide that, oh, I see that my, I see that my, um, my tool is just a little narrow because of that three quarters of an inch difference, but it's okay like that. It is definitely okay because I can make adjustments for that as I move along. Okay, let's see. What I got something hung up here. Oh, I see that. I can just snip that. I can just snip. You see how quickly I lose things? Where'd them scissors go? No, oh, there they are. There's the scissor. There, that's better. Okay, now. I could actually go over with another piece of tool if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm not going to do, I'm going to, I mean, for the edge here, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to, I don't worry about anything. You know, I am just not a worrier. Um, I get concerned about things, but actual worry, no, I don't worry. I have a little piece of paper up here that was sent to me. And it says, worry is a responsibility God hasn't given me. And so I look up at that. Um, I'm not responsible for that. God will worry about my anything that needs to be worried about. He'll take care of that. And so I don't have to worry. All right, now, what I just thought of as I was pull these pins out, pulling these pins out now. Now I have the whole, I went all the way around the edge. The whole thing is going to need to have some quilting done so this stuff stays. But um, I was just thinking, um, I was just thinking of something. And um, I have, let me see, where is, hmm, hmm. Where, okay, I have a little, I'm looking up into my, my books, not books, boxes. I have to go fetch something, so see, this is where pause comes in good. I gotta go fetch something.
do you know that I just went through the whole end of this video and realized that I was still paused? So I don't know where it ended before I actually put it on pause, but I do know what I did say, because I already went through my reading, I went through my journal, um, but it was on pause. So you all missed that. I'm sorry. Or maybe I'm not sorry. Maybe you all aren't sorry. But I'm not going to go over that again on this one because I'm going to be making a addition. I'm going to see where this one ended actually before right here. And, um, and um, then I will... Yeah, because I was just a flabberjack in Jaws here. Um, so, but I'll see where this ended. And then I will kind of try to continue on for part two. Because I will want you to see exactly how I work this whole um, sleeping bag, journal sleeping bag. Okay, so I'm going to ask God to watch over you. Every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. Hopefully that will be like later on today. And I ask God to bless you all.